gonna be you no break. That the old soldier man, I give you no break. Not even your eyes, you're not giving you no break. Hey, hey, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My dog's name is Vasco. A little bit about the psychology of the dog. The dog is an excellent tool to have. If someone runs and you have two policemen who are standing there even sometimes with their guns out, then that person may go ahead and continue to run even after the officer tells them to stop. The reason they do that is they know most of the time that the officer cannot or will not shoot at them and they'll go ahead and run. If the dog's there, and the dog, they're able to see the dog, all their concentration most of the time is focused on the dog. He makes me feel safer then because they're more worried about him and what he's going to do as opposed to what I'm going to do to him as a police officer. We're going into an area now where the officers have observed several people and they've been flagging down cars and they have a lot of uh, drug dealing that goes along in that area. So they want us to come along to see if we can assist them in case somebody runs. Uh, one of the officers has somebody running from him now, so we'll quickly head over to that area and see if we can help him out with the dog in case they need him. Get your west on Fairfield. Sorry, westbound. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got him. Fooey. Where's he at, Vas? Huh? Come here. Relax. Kenny, why did he start running? Why did he start running? I don't know. I don't know. Pull it out. I don't know. Pull it Calm down. Stay there and be quiet. What we had. Adam 322, uh -huh. Adam 328, we had complaints of possible drug dealing in Fairfield and Boss. Uh -huh. We're going to swamp the area. The subject we pull in, this subject takes off running. I tell him to stop, and he starts fleeing westbound Fairfield. And that's when you came up. Yeah. We're able to catch you. You want me to have Jan and Vicky come over here with the ambulance, give you some oxygen? No, I'm OK. Give what, what, hey, what were you? You need some oxygen? Yeah, man. I just ran. Man, stand up. Hey, we just ran too. Stand well, up. I did, and I was driving a car, but wait, wait, we didn't wait, tell wait. you to run. Stand up, Hold up man. I hurt myself, man. When falling down? <laughs> yeah. You almost got run it's over. It's hard like that when you run from the police, ain't it? Man, I ain't run from you, man. You, you didn't run from me? What was all that? Man, I, huh? I can't even see, man. You, you can't even see. Sir? I didn't ask you to stop. I didn't hear you, didn't man. Didn't ask you to stop. Why'd you take off running? Didn't ask you to stop. Because I... Because what? I know that's a bad spot. I'll just... You know it's a bad spot, right? You think they deal a lot of drugs there? Huh? You, you think, think they, they deal some drugs there? I, I grew up around here. Do you think they deal drugs there? <laughs> they be... That's why the police are there. What's your name? Dwayne Smith, man. Dwayne, what have you been arrested for before? Nothing, sir. Never, ever? Never, ever. Never this, been the first, this is the first time you've ever well, been arrested? I mean, I've been arrested, but I'm not a criminal, man. I didn't say you were a criminal. I asked what you've been arrested for. No, sir. Have you ever been arrested for possession of any narcotics? No, sir. I man, I got two kids, a newborn baby, man. I just got off work, man. Yeah. Really? It's not mine. Cover the handgun? OK. It's not mine, man. Well, there we Now, listen to me a minute, OK? Yes, sir, man. Now, we've got a lot of problems over here with drug dealers and yes, people sir. with guns and stuff. And then when the police pull up to check on these drug dealers, try to make everything safe in the community, you understand? We've got people running from us. Whether they got babies or not, they run from us. And then we find, we find this gun that this officer has over there. With mine, sir. Who do you think it was? 
Okay. You're saying, I want to make, now wait a minute, I want to make sure I got this straight. Yes. Sir. You just ran for no reason. Yeah, I, mean, I just panicked, man. I don't run for You ran me. because you panicked. Yeah, man, I'll try. Was it worth getting out That's of breath great. and almost getting run over by a police car a couple times and doing all kinds of other stuff for this? No. Yes or no? It wasn't worth it, man. So you, and you're gonna, so you feel like you're gonna go to jail for something that really wasn't worth it? Well, worth it. I mean, what I'm gonna go to jail for? I haven't done nothing. Well, I running from the police when they say stop is a crime in the state of Indiana. It's called fleeing the police. Do you understand that, okay? I'm not trying to be nasty with you. Yes, okay, sir. you seen that police car, right? I was in a marked police vehicle, right? Light bars on the top, correct? I didn't see Correct, me, no. okay? You see this uniform, right? The police officer say stop. I say, excuse me, come here, stop. And you took off running, correct? Okay. And what are your priors? What have you been locked up for? Man, that, uh, just, uh... You know what you've been locked no, up for, No, 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 no. I just got locked up recently for, uh... For what? For, uh, forgery, but, you know, just... What else have you been locked up for? That's it. Any dope guns, battery? No, nah, man, I don't carry dope and guns, man. I just ran. I don't know why I ran, man. I feel like... Okay. Well, believe it or not, a lot of the people that hang out over there carry dope and guns. That's why we're but over I there. I wasn't hanging out over there. Where did I just catch you? Where were you? Huh? Where were you, in like Cleveland or what? No, I was just visiting a you friend. You were over on Kenny, won't you, can you run him right quick? Okay, and, run okay. me where? Just, we're gonna run you through the computer, see if you got any warrants on you or anything. People okay. normally don't run for no reason. 1490, 1433, or 33 Adam. I'm going to explain something to you since you say this is the first time you ever ran from the police, okay? Yes, sir. When I was trying to catch up to you in my car, if you would have continued to get away from us in that vehicle and with this officer chasing you on foot, you see that dog in the back seat of that car over there? Yeah, I got a right wild. You can't outrun him, I don't I think. Know. Now, I've seen some guys run pretty fast, but I've never seen them outrun one of those dogs okay. yet. And we will use them to chase somebody that we think oh, might be selling something. drugs and carrying guns and doing bad things around here. Do you yes, understand sir. that? This is what we're going to do, okay? Right. You got no warrants on you. All right? Yeah. You're married, right? You got a family, right? Yes, yes, sir. Are you working? Yes, sir. Okay. You don't need this, do you? No, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure you got all your money. You got your keys? Yeah, I got everything. You can see yourself lucky, Mr. Smith. <laughs> okay? Yeah. We won't see him back out here anymore, I know. Lucky, man. Okay. I told you why, man. I was even coming over here. I just seen a friend, man. Okay. You know. Good night. All right. Good see night, you later, man. Go home and make sure you wash that up. Well, Craig, good job. Yeah, I'm just glad I didn't wear myself out running after him like you did. I stayed in the uh, car. Keeps you young. Okay, we're en route to assist uh, 266 and one of the other units. I think the sergeant's on the scene. They've got a car stopped up here, possibly, that has some stolen items in it. And uh, they're advising that uh, the driver and the, is possibly intoxicated, along with the passenger. Okay, we're arriving now. We'll be able to find out what the, what the cars have got. Yeah. Real convenient. We already have a jail wagon. Yeah, uh, well, we have a jail wagon. Well, they probably want to drive over this way. These people are, are pulled up to the Goodwill box, 5700 West Washington Street. They've loaded up their car full of property from the Goodwill store. They originally told us that they were moving. Okay, that's the reason for all this property, but. But two of us were watching him do it. Gene was watching him do it, and so was uh, uh, the director of Mecca. 201's clear. Um, the guy in the right front seat with all the tattoos, I guess he's in his third year of law school because he's telling us that this is okay to do this. I've tried to explain to him that he needs to do it during the normal business hours, which is really kind of doesn't make too much difference because he's got six outstanding warrants on him anyway. Well, they'll be able to practice the rest of his law up at uh, Pendleton, maybe. Plus, so they're all jump. drunk. Sir, you want to step out of the vehicle for us, please? 578, he said thanks again. Come on out. Clear. 578's been notified, and he said thanks. Step right back here, please. Sir, do you have any knives or handguns on you? Okay, put your hands behind your back, please. Sir, you are under arrest for about six outstanding warrants, okay? Bless that. All right. Unlock your door, sir. We have his wheelchair in the back here, Sarge. Okay. Probably need to get it out. Sir, are you currently in type of medication? Are you currently under any type of medication? Are you taking any prescription drugs? 
Just alcohol? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, get his chair out. We can do that. Why don't you go ahead and throw your cigarette out here, out here for me, sir? Okay, hang on. We'll get your wheelchair for you. I like this truck. Some of the stuff taken out of the Goodwill, I take it, where the Sarge talked, uh, they were in there doing their shopping during the nighttime hours uh, out of the collective box for the, for the uh, people. We'll have to get all this in and get it inventory. Find out what all is missing. And then uh, Goodwill has always been good as far as uh, prosecuting in cases like this when we get them. And personally, I think it's... Get this gentleman's wheelchair for him. Nice gown. Ah. Got his wheelchair here, Sarge. I'll hold it for you. We'll work on it. I'll hold it for you. How's that? Okay. Got your feet thing down there? They were moving okay. Where's the female at? She's still in the front seat. Okay, take her now. Okay, let's get the female. We're going to have to have animal control for the dog. How do I get that medicine? Pardon? How do I get that medicine? Get your medicine? Where's your medicine at? At home. There'll be a person from the medical office that lock up. You'll tell them your problems, and they'll take care of that at there, OK? If, they need, if you need medical treatment, they'll take you to the hospital. Oh, we got those. There you go. There you go. Say hi. Hello. What you doing, one? He said I'm just hanging around. It's right here for the ride. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Dog belong to you? Your dog? Is it your dog? No, no. Belongs to them? Yeah. Okay. But hey, I'll pay for you getting out. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, you'll be able to get it back, okay? They're just going to put it in the dog motel for the night. Hang on here, let me turn you around. Get you up on the curb. Oh, they got us for, uh... <laughs> no, I'm still on. They got us for, uh, going to the Goodwill, getting stuff, and everybody else does that, and they ain't never got nobody else. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do it no more. I didn't know it was stealing. We're not doing nothing no more. We didn't know it was stealing. <laughs> I didn't know it. That's the guys on the street. We seen everybody else do it. We didn't know it was stealing. I was just a driver. I wouldn't know it was stealing. I just know what they told me. You get a lady driving down the street drunk. She's epileptic, doesn't have her medication. They just went and got the one poor old one-legged guy out of the hospital. He's in a wheelchair, okay? He's drunk. The no shorted guy with all the tattoos. He's obviously really blitz, got six warrants on him. Not to mention the poor poodle who hasn't done anything. The poodle's going to jail for just being with them. And they're thieving out of the Goodwill box, right? With a police officer watching. Two. Two, two police two. officers watching. And they don't see the marked squad cars. No. And Only she's driving on a brand new, new learner's, learner's permit, permit that she just got today, and she's using the other drunk as a licensed driver, driver. and he's suspended. That's job security. security. We get uh, three days off in a row usually, and, and on my days off, I leave the big city. And I go down to my hometown usually, and uh, I hunt a lot, fish a lot, and uh, do a lot of archery shooting. And that's how I relieve my stress is I, I get away from the city for a couple of days, and then when I come back, I, f I feel kind of like... Uh, I'm ready to go and for another six days and then uh, do it all over again. First block of North Highland Avenue got a landlord calling in saying there's a, a uh, abandoned apartment downstairs of his building and somebody's inside of it. Brick building right there.
don't know. I think he went in from the alley. Okay. Yeah. There's What's a, in the alley? Where he, is it a window? A window. And it's, okay. a, it's a plastic window. Do you have a key? Yeah. Sure. Do it. I mean, do it now. You hear me? Let me violent. Because I said, you don't live here. Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. Quit stiff arming me. Give me your other hand. I'm telling you, you're gonna get hurt. Don't give me your other hand. I just did. Quit, let go of it. Sit up. Now what's the problem? What are Why are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Am I right? What are you getting in your pocket? What do you got in your pocket? Why, what am I doing wrong? A little paraphernalia, a little marijuana pipe. Where's the, where's the marijuana? Nah, at? it's got tobacco on it. Oh, it does. You don't have any marijuana on you? No. Any more weapons, knives, guns? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Walk out. You. Here, yeah, come over here. Have a seat. Have a seat right here on the ground. Sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. David Lambert. That's my What's first. your side of the story? Well, Sandy you're not supposed I, to be in there. Huh? You're not supposed to be in there. Uh, yeah. Well, I just got. A, I just started a new job yesterday, and I had. You a broke in the house. I didn't break the house. How'd you get in? The door was open. The door was open. So you just thought you'd walk on in, even though it's not your house. It's where I've been living for two and a half years. It had been broken into repeatedly during the last few days. I would come, you know, we would cover it and find that someone had been in there. Okay. Do you want you do want to press charges then? I guess I have to. Yeah, I don't yeah. want him to keep I'd appreciate it if you would, yeah, right. All to right. get anything done, yeah. you're gonna have to press charges. Let's walk around the other side. Okay, you wanna show me that over there? A frequent guest of the tenant that just moved out. I get the impression that she moved to get away from him. But I don't know. Okay, so she moved to get away from him. Maybe she. A lot and of he used to come here all the time, so he just thinks it's fine if he comes here now, even though she doesn't live here anymore. Apparently so. Okay. I've yeah. had I've had it runs down here of them yeah. two fighting. This is the window. Now this is plastic. You you can pull that out pull it in and now. stick it right back in. Okay. And I 
I was told that he broke that out some time ago. Okay. So, you've, so I don't know how he got in, but he says he was here. Maybe he was hiding in that closet. And when you went in there? I don't know. I didn't go digging around, you know. Okay, right. You just kind of walked in and yeah. heard something? Well, I, I come in to feed her cats. Okay. Because I don't want the animals hungry. Right. And uh, while I was here, I covered that window again. It had been opened and reopened in the okay. last how many, few days. How many times? Well, I've probably been here three or four times, five times since the first of the month. And each time there's been evidence that somebody's, somebody's been, been in there and yeah. the window's been broken out. Okay. Yeah, no, you know, that's... Okay, um, yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're going to charge him with residential injury and or entry and criminal trespass. But, um, evidently, he's broke in here three or four times. He used to be a friend of the former tenant who lived there and, and uh, decided that. You know, I can't say that he broke in several times. You know his father in law? He calls me his father-in-law. Okay. Not, not. You're not his father-in-law? <laughs> okay. Um, so you're not his father-in-law, but he's well, bottom line is he's not supposed to be there. Uh, uh, there is no way legally or morally I know that he has a right to be there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, he'll... Uh, uh, sometimes he's the manager of the building when he's trying to shake the other tenants down, so... Oh, so he <laughs> plays manager of the building, too, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he'll have a place to stay tonight. And the action doesn't stop there. Join us for another ride on the beat with the cops in just a minute. Okay, we'll still send a code three.